And that may help us understand why we no longer have any of them today. Um, well, yes. Although the uh, cryptid world occasionally <laughs> yes. says we do. It, it does. And I, I would love, as scary as it may be, I would love for Megalodon to still be around. I think it would be spectacular to see, to study, to f more fully understand. Um, an animal that big, chances are it you're going to find it because... An animal that big is probably not going to live in the deep sea. It probably has to eat a lot of big things. And one of the, the thoughts behind Megalodon is that it was a whale eater. So an animal that big is going to eat something really big too. And the best thing to eat then are whales. They're not really fast. They've got a lot of meat. And it's a very, very good source of energy. Um, most whales don't live in the deep sea. Most whales live close to the surface. They have to have air. They have to survive like that. And so chances are if that's what Megalodon was doing, it would be living in the same areas trying to eat them. And so even if there wasn't many megalodons, we would still expect to see some of them closer to the surface or maybe, you know, some dead or something like that.